Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog over at kjaggers.com. That link is below. I've been blogging for years, so so much over there. You can get lost for hours, so definitely click on the link when you're done with the video and check it out. All of my recipes are over there. So many posts that go back years. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, it's all on the blog. So before we get started, I do want to say I have the window open. It is a beautiful day here and I just got off work just a little bit ago, changed my clothes and decided that I would finally make this favorites video. I've had this stuff sitting around. A lot of days after work, I don't feel really well. I'm tired. I got things to do. You know, there's less hours in the day when I'm working, you know, morning shift to afternoon. So, you know, I'm just really trying to figure it out and do the best I can. So let's get started. Now one of the things you'll see me looking into because I have some notes in it about my favorites is this Midori Traveler's Notebook. I have talked about it many times. I actually have a video that I'll link somewhere up here and um, I absolutely adore it. I plan on doing another video on my current setup very soon before you ask and it has definitely been a godsend in my life. Now, I have another planner that I just started using, and it's for something a little more personal, and I'll share that with you in time. But this is my everyday planner. The leather here gets more beautiful as, you know, it gets older. The scratches and, and markings make it more unique, and it's just something I adore. This um, Midori Traveler's Notebook has really really made me happy um, in terms of planning and journaling. Um, I love being able to keep the inserts and file them away and have them for years to come. And it's not big bulky planners that you're trying to, you know, organize and keep. So let's get started with, I'm not going to, uh, let's do beauty first. Yeah, let's do beauty first. So I've had a lot of people asking me what foundation I'm wearing. You guys like the way it looks. There's two of them that I've been rotating here lately. Um, this one, the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in number 810 has been a big favorite of mine. It's full coverage, so there's no doubt. You can put it on in the morning, and by the time I take a shower at 8, 9 p.m., it is still fully on, and that's lovely. If you have any type of skin issues or um, scars or anything like that, this is really helpful and it's a wonderful foundation I love it um, other days when I'm not wanting quite as heavy of a application I go for the um, L'Oreal True Match Illumi foundation this one is in neutral and I really like this because your skin breathes you can actually see your skin if you have some concealing you need to do you can kind of like spot conceal and still get a very natural look with this foundation now one of my favorite foundations for summer and it always will be is the bare minerals the matte foundation and I actually need to order some more we're not quite into summer but I can guarantee you as soon as summer starts I will or arrive I will um, be using that foundation. It's one of my absolute favorites. Now for um, bronzers and highlighters, I've really been enjoying this contour palette by e.l.f. It's got these four colors. You got the darker color over here, a more golden color, and like two highlights. More of a yellow base, more of a white base. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I was Sitting here, Laura was here with the kids getting ready for work, and I was actually watching her use it. She borrowed it, and her, her contour and um, highlight looked beautiful, and this is, I think, $8, and it's worked out really well, and I like it a lot. So it definitely made the favorites list for this month. Another one of my favorites is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I think I shared this last month. You know, sometimes my favorites stay the same. Like, if I was to share my my favorite bath items, it would still be that, that Cucumber Dove shower foam. It has lasted so long, and it's really nice. It smells amazing. And this mascara actually just builds up beautifully. Not clumpy. I like the brush. 
and I like you know a mascara that is a little more on the dry side than so wet and after a few days of using this one it wasn't you know like sopping wet and smearing and so this is definitely a favorite through February and March for my eyebrows I've been letting them grow out because um, you know I'm not really happy with the shape but I've been using and this is almost gone the Maybelline brow drama um, crayon it's all I have left it won't go up any further but it does such a nice job you can be light-handed with it or you can add a little more pressure and really get a more defined line and I like just to kind of sweep it up and get those front hairs and try to get it as natural as possible a little more um, heavy handed on the tail end but I think it still keeps them very natural and this one is in I don't know um, I don't know where it says what color it is. I think it's like a taupey color. Matches pretty good with my hair. Besides the gray. And I've just have really enjoyed it. So that's definitely been a favorite as well. Now for my eyeshadows. The, the little palette that I've shared many a times. Um, from Bare Minerals. This is the Ready Eyeshadow 8.0. It's got some absolutely stunning colors in it. I tend to use this one a lot on my lids. I tend to use this one in my crease and um, below my eye in my bottom lash line. I love this color over here. It's just a beautiful palette and um, I can be ready like in five minutes for, for work with that. Um, now for hair. You know, I don't do a lot with my hair. I work in the restaurant, so I have to kind of have my hair pulled back in some shape or fashion to say, you know, make sure no hair ends up on anybody's plates. One of the items I love um, is the Big Sexy Hair Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. This is such good stuff, you guys. When my hair is damp, I just kind of get it in there, and then I can really build it up. And I can really get some volume out of the top when I pull it up. Um, and even you know, on days I plan on wearing it down but want more volume, um, this is one of the ways I do it. There's lots of different hair care products that I've used and that I still use. But this is the one I've reached for the most here lately. Now for my baths, everybody knows I love a long hot bath. If you watch my channel or follow me on Instagram, you will know that taking a bath is like heaven to me. I love really hot water. And here lately I have felt bloated. I have felt uncomfortable. Um, my feet have hurt. And what I have been using is the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Nighttime Relief. This is the Concentrated Mineral Bath Soap. Soak. Sorry. Now, this has lavender, chamomile, and menthol in it. And it really has made me feel better whenever I am, you know, not feeling good and just wanting to relax. Um, I tried lots of different bath products. These two have been favorites, and I got, I think, like four or five more to actually finish up through the month of April. We're moving right along. Now, for the kitchen, i got quite a few, well, I don't know about quite a few things, but one of the things that I like, and I actually bought for my work as well, and it's in a recent Dollar Tree haul, is this Cooking Concepts Veggie Brush. So, this is only used for vegetables, and I have a big video about how I clean my produce when I get home. It was made a while back. I was still married to Scott. Um, still with Scott and all that kind of stuff, but it still applies today when I get my produce home I always do my best to clean it and this little brush just fits so well into my hand and We have to clean you know different fruits and vegetables at my work So I thought it would be a handy tool to have as have there as well This was only a dollar and I use it so much and I love it 
Another item that I have been loving is this, I want to say it's a Mexican juicer. I think that's right, I think, is this juicer. So, it's got the holes in the bottom. I'm sure many of you have seen it. You put your, you put your um, lemon, orange, or whatever you're wanting to juice upside down. You press down. The juice flows from these little holes, and it is so easy. It's one of the easiest juicers on the planet. And what I love about it is that my hands are not very strong, and um, I have the big juicer that my mom got me, but I'm not as crazy about that anymore, but I love this, and I have been on a lemonade kick, and so this has helped me make my fresh lemonade. Love this. I would never live without one. That's for sure. Food-wise, one of my favorite healthy, delicious treats are the Brad's Crunchy Kale Naked Chips. Um, they have sunflower seed and cash, cashew vegan cheese in it. Um, I love dried kale. Absolutely adore it. No one else in my family, no one else in my home loves this like I do. When I buy these from the grocery store, they're like 7 or $8 for this little container, and I end up eating it all in one day. That's how much I love it. And, um, you know, it's a nourishing snack. It's healthy. It's delicious. And I love it. And it will be a favorite for years to come. And I'm sure if you watch my videos, you have seen it so many times in the past. I'm going to keep showing it because it's that good. Another one of my favorites is the coffee, the Fosers Coffee Singles. Trying to cut back a little bit on the caffeine, but I still have one to two cups of coffee a day. I just do. It's just me that drinks the coffee. No one else in the family drinks it, which actually means the sugar and the coffee last longer. And I love my French press, and I love the Javava coffee, um, but when I'm in a hurry in the mornings, this is what I go for. It is not an instant coffee. Um, it tastes just like a regular cup of Fosers. I leave the little bag in and it kind of gets stronger as I get lower in the cup, which sometimes I need. These have just been lifesavers. They also go in my purse. Um, when I travel, they, they um, are just so, so, so handy. For teas, the Twinlings Earl Grey Lavender Tea. Oh my gosh. Huh. This is some good stuff, you guys. Um, this tea has all the flavor and scent of lavender with black tea and it gives you a little bit of caffeine like a boost in the evening but the lavender helps kind of mellow you um, the smell of it is very central it's just it's just delicious and I'm not sure if I showed this last month and if I did I'm sorry but I just you know favorites stay favorites so many for so long and it's not always easy sharing new items and this is definitely a favorite Another one that I know you guys have seen is the Polaroid Zip, and I use this for my planners, and it is definitely a favorite. Now, the last real item, besides I talk about some shows and stuff that are favorites, that I want to share with you is this book by Rory Feet. It is This Life I Live, and it's about his, his life. It's also about his wife, Joey, and her battle with cancer. I read this in like a day and a half. It is a great book. It's inspirational. It is sad. It is heartbreaking, but it's such a good read. I pondered on getting it. I followed them along for a long time, and um, it touched my heart. And I'm actually going to loan this book out to a gentleman that I work with, so I'm going to take this in for him tomorrow. This is a great book. Don't hesitate to read it. Um, it's definitely captured my heart. It definitely is written in small little chapters. I mean, when I say small, I mean a page and a half. So you can get through it relatively fast, easy, and um, it's a wonderful read. So definitely a favorite. Now, let's see. Okay, some TV shows that I loved through March was the last season of Homeland that I watched on Amazon. It is so good. I love Carrie. It's focused more in New York City 
and I can't wait for the next season. I kind of like watch seasons in full within two or three days, depending on how big the season or how big the show is. Like if it's a new show and there's 12 seasons, obviously I'm not going to get through it that fast. But if it's um, just one season, I can get through it really fast. Homeland was a big one. Little Big Lies with Reese Witherspoon and um, Nicole Kidman some other actresses I know I should remember it's such a charming little show it's kind of like turned into a murder mystery and I've really been enjoying that as well Victoria on PBS and on Amazon such a good show loving that um, another one that I really liked um, was the one about the Pope I can't remember has Diane Keaton I don't know it's a new one, and I've really enjoyed that as well, and I'll try to remember to link it in. So those are my favorites, you guys, for the month of March. I'm sorry that they are a little bit delayed. I'm getting there. I really wish I could just be home every day and make a video. And I could if I concentrated on getting home after work, getting in front of the camera, and talking. But a lot of times, my hair has been back. I am tired. I'm not, you know, super cleaned up after i gotten off work because I've worked all day but I really am trying and I really appreciate you watching if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in this video leave those below definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already I would love it if you subscribed you can click on the little bell next to subscribe and you'll be notified of every video I put up don't forget to follow along on Instagram 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 is one of my favorite places I have deleted snapchat I have deleted Twitter from my phone I I love Facebook I love Instagram definitely follow along there and don't um, forget to check out the blog thanks again for watching you guys bye